Hello, welcome to another session of uh, Countdown and welcome back to our champion. He's won twice. Back here for the third time, Jonathan Gresty. <laughs> 25 years of age, Jonathan, uh, civil servant. Graduate of English literature from the University of Durham and his uh, performance in Countdown is uh, pretty good. 71 on his first time. 59 yesterday, so Jonathan Gresty facing a challenge now from John Owens. <laughs> There's John, he's 46, married with a teenage son. He works as a computer systems analyst, originally from North Wales. Uh, he went to school, I think, about 10 miles from Carroll, he was telling me. But he now lives in Oldham, in Lancashire. He enjoys snooker, badminton and the occasional game of golf. He also is a committee member of the Royton Band Club. But there's just one slight problem with the Royton Band Club. The Royton bit's OK and the club bit's OK. The thing is about the Royton Band Club, they don't actually have a band. <laughs> Seems to be a slight sort of a problem here about this. What yeah. is the problem? Well, we haven't had a band since 1938. <laughs> <laughs> um, you seem to be managing quite well without one at the moment. So you I just tell your wife you're sneaking off to the band club and all you're doing <laughs> is going for a quiet pint, is it? Quick play, a blow on the trombone. <laughs> and really, I mean, it's a band club without a band? I mean, yes, definitely. Are you look <laughs> this is curiouser <laughs> and curiouser. Well, we might get to the bottom of this. Anyway, uh, I'm sorry you haven't got a band, but let's hope you can uh, blow your own trumpet after today's programme. So good luck to John Owens. <laughs> Now, on his return to Countdown yesterday, our Guardian of the Dictionary was on pretty good form. Three winning words, uh, two for seven, cutting and touting. And a good one, geisha. Geisha girl, of course, the Japanese uh, hostess. Now, we didn't make a song and dance about that, but we did bow to the inevitable and invite him back again. Otherwise, he might have made a bit of a do. Anyway, we welcome uh, back Simon Williams. Hello. And if Kipling is right, everybody who watches Countdown, in my opinion, must be a drug-dependent person, because he says in a speech in 1923, February the 14th, he says, of course, words are the most powerful drug used by mankind. Hmm. So here, helping me in the dispensary today, is the lovely Alexandra Clayton. Thank you, Hello. Hello. And the daughter of North Wales, what school did you go to, Carol? I went to Blessed Edward Jones High School, which is a Catholic comprehensive school in Rill. Yeah. Right. Most famous old girl of that school, I doubt not. Carol Vorderman. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Jonathan Gresty and John Owen. We've got a Jonathan and a John, but we'll do our best. And uh, I'm sure these two will as well. So off we go, Jonathan. A vowel, please, Carol. A vowel. O. Uh, constant, please. B. Another vowel. A. Uh, consonant, please. L. A vowel, please. E. Consonant. P. Consonant. Y. Uh, consonant, please. P. And a vowel, please. And a vowel. And A. Thanks very much indeed. Let's start the clock. Yes, Jonathan. Uh, six. Six. And John? But only four. Oh, only four. Right, well, they hear the Jonathan. They hear the John four, please. Opal. Opal. Yes, opal. Nice. Uh, stone found in Australia, an opal. Uh, Jonathan? Um, appeal. Appeal. Yes. I think really uh, John could have appealed for help, couldn't he, really, <laughs> on that one? But uh, appeal there for six. Good. Um, Simon? I think I, uh, payable is there, I think, for seven. And that's payable there 
as you can see, is there for seven. Good. Right, John, uh, your first choice, please. Consonant, please, Carol. S. Vowel. A vowel, John. O. A consonant. R. Another consonant. Another consonant. J. A vowel. E. Another vowel. Another vowel. A. Another consonant. Q. A vowel. <laughs> You'll try for it. No, I. And a consonant. And a consonant, all right. And a D. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, here we go. So, John. Five. Five says John, and Jonathan says... Uh, seven. Seven. Right, here's John's five, please. Raids. Raids for five. Now it's a seven. Um, roadies. <laughs> right, we've had, I'm sure we've had roadies. This programme is young at heart. We've had roadies. What do you say about roadies, though? An assistant employed by a touring band of musicians. Hmm. Yes, it is. We have to allow that then. Rody. Certainly good. the best I could manage. Yes, how many is that? I can't remember. That's seven. Seven. Seven, good. Okay. Get right. ready to do your counting for you, Richard. <laughs> yes. um, right, well, I can count up to three because that's the round we're on now, and it's Jonathan's turn, please. Uh, vowel, please. Vowel. E. A consonant, please. G. Uh, a consonant, please. T. A vowel. A. Um, a consonant, please. N. Another. S. Uh, a vowel, please. U. Um, a vowel, please. I. And a consonant. And a consonant. And C. And the countdown for this round starts now. There's an ING there, so how do we get on? Let's have a look at you, Jonathan, please. Um, seven. Seven. Mm. John. Seven again. Seven. seven. John, seven. Casting. Casting. Good. And that's very good, and that's off the mark for you. Casting for seven. Good. Casting. Jonathan. Uh, seating. And seating. Casting and seating there for seven. Both... Good words. What are you looking at there, Simon? Well, um, I hate to use this word, uh, um, uh, but because I, I know you'll use it for a perfectly frightful pun tomorrow. <laughs> but uh, sautéing, as in the sautéing of potatoes. Is it in? It is, well, sauté is there, so yes. sautéing. Is an inflection of the verb. It is an inflection of the verb, as Alexander <laughs> so rightly puts it. And now we're all Euro people. We're not having frying, we're having sautéing. OK. What do you think? I think it's terrific. Makes me feel hungry. Can't wait till... Five o'clock, and have a tea. Oh. <laughs> right, 20 and 7. That's it for the letters. Let's have some numbers from John. One from the top, please, Carol. One from the top, John. And five from anywhere else. Five small numbers yeah. as well. Right. OK. You have, gentlemen, four, ten, four, one, ten, and one hundred. Oh. Would be tricky. Six hundred and fifty-four. Okay, six five four required. Here we go.
So 654, John. 654. Good. Jonathan. 655. Right. Interesting. So let's see what 654 holds for us, John. 10 minus 1 is 9. 10 minus 1 is 9. 100 plus 9 is 109. Plus the 109 is 109. 10 minus 4 is 6. 10 minus 4, that's the other 10, is 6. Multiply by yes. two outs and you get 654. You do. <laughs> <laughs> well done, John. I mean, you spend all day on a computer, therefore, presumably, the machine does it all and all the buttons do it all. You don't have it, to do it, it in your own head. Today, yeah. So the old brain box is working uh, pretty well, and that's levelled things up considerably. That's very good. Brought you right back in the game. 17 to you, 20 to Jonathan. You can take a breather, and we'll hand over to Simon. Um, one, of the, one of the most popular little bits of Merry Andrew, which means bits of superfluous nonsense that I've come up with, is the following, which I like very much, by Thackeray. It is so an act, reap a habit, so a habit, reap a character, so a character, reap a destiny. I think that's rather nice. Yeah. Don't put um, the kettle on. So put the kettle on. <laughs> Obsessed. Don't put the kettle on yet. Stay right where you are. Don't put the kettle on till the end of countdown, which won't happen before we've got a winner. And to find out who it is, join us for part two. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome back to the John and Jonathan show. Jonathan, the champion in the lead there, but only just uh, 20 points on his scoreboard and a good rally by John in the numbers game to bring him up to 17. So everything to play for, as they say, and five rounds in which to play it. We're going to start those five rounds now with John. Vowel, please. A vowel, John. O. Consonant. R. A vowel. E. Consonant. L. Another vowel. Another vowel. I. A consonant. S. A consonant. D. A consonant. S. And a vowel. And a vowel. And E. Thank you very much, Carol. Here we go on this one. Right, um, that's it. John? Eight. Eight, eight. That's John and Jonathan. And seven. And seven. Right, here the seven from Jonathan. Uh, desires. Desires for seven. No, an eight. Soldiers. Soldiers. Well, if everything's there for that, it certainly is no problem with that. Soldiers. Yes. Eight, that's a word. <laughs> Simon. I likewise had soldiers um, and desires, but I can't <laughs> better them. Unlikely. No Unlikely. They sit there, these actors. <laughs> oh, yes, I got that, <laughs> dear boy. No <laughs> problem. <laughs> Unlikely story. No, yeah, no arguing with soldiers. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's a good eight. I know, Simon, I'm sure you got this. And uh, well done to all of those who got eight. And uh, it's excellent now. 25 for John, for John uh, 20 for Jonathan. And it's Jonathan's turn in round six. Uh, Val, please. O. Consonant. R. Uh, another consonant, please. Another consonant. T. A vowel. U. Um, consonant, please. L. Uh, another one. N. Uh, a vowel, please. A vowel is A. Another vowel, please. E. And another vowel, please. And another vowel. And O. Oh. Very good, very good. Here we go now.
Yes, John Ruffins. Uh, seven. Seven. Uh, eight, John? Six. Oh, six. <laughs> now, you see. <laughs> Tables are turned here. What's the six? Uh, Tula. Who? Tula. One who tools. Oh, it's <laughs> one who uh, tools. On the lathe. Yes, um, yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. A Tula, yes, indeed. Uh, Jonathan. Uh, Autolan. How? Autolan. Who? <laughs> when, know. where, what? It's a bird, isn't yeah. it? Ah, well, oh. spell it, please, because I haven't um, heard of it. O R T E L A N. This looks good, doesn't it? Autolan. Well, Sorry, look I at that then. O R T E L A N. No, I'm afraid not. It's spelt with um, with an O. With an O in the middle. Mm. Never mind. Oh dear. So, sorry, how's it spelled? Just tell us. O R T O L A N. L -A -N. There we are. Oh, right. Very close. But two lower is fine. Right. Enough of that. Let's move on to the last letters game. John, it's your turn. Consonant, please, Carol. D. Another consonant. Another one. T. And another consonant. D. Vowel. A. Vowel. E. And another vowel. And another one. I. Consonant. R. Vowel. U. And a consonant, please. And a consonant. And a Z. Yes, oh, we haven't had a Z for some time. Here's the Z. Thank you very much, and here we go. Yes, John. Only five. Five. I'm not going to laugh at that at all. I'm going to say, well done. Excellent. Terrific. Marvellous. <laughs> Jonathan. A six. Oh, that's quite good. Um, what's the five? Dated. 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 What's the six? Um, tirade. Tirade. Ah, tirade. Let's say that's there. Tirade. Yep. Tirade. Ho, ho, ho. You see this one here? Do Seer, D-E-U-T-Z-I-A, a little ornamental shrub. I just managed to conjure up from the depths of my memory. Yeah, <laughs> a dute seer, ornamental shrub. Uh, is that a little hollow laugh, the token that maybe I was browsing? Was I browsing? <laughs> dute seer. Dute seer. Another Japanese word. Another Japanese, yeah. Geishas we had, dute seers today. OK, well, the gap's narrowing now, chaps. 26, 31, two rounds to go. Jonathan's numbers, please. Um, one from the top, please. One from the top. And any other five? Any other five, all right. One, two, three, four, five. The numbers are little old one, five, seven, nine, two, and 75, as we know, the most unpopular number. And uh, the target is 663. It certainly is. 663, 36 to go, starting now. Well, it looks to me as though they've both got it. They've both put their pens down. Um, 663, Jonathan. Uh, 663. Yeah, and John? 663. OK, would you like a go, John? You go first. 75 times 9. 75 multiplied by 9. Is 675. Yes, it is. And 7 plus 5 is 12. 7 plus 5 is 12. 12 from 675 is 663. It is indeed. 10 points. Very good. And Jonathan? Yeah, same. Yeah, Sorry. same. Hmm. Right. So, well done. So, good. Uh, ten points for both. So, excellent. Well done. <laughs> so, now, well, now we come to the conundrum, and a crucial one at that. The scores, 36 and 41. So, this is the point we all like. Crucial conundrums. We like them. They're not so keen, but uh, never mind. They've got no option but to... Scan the screen, fingers on the button. If you're all ready, chaps, please now reveal today's countdown conundrum.
Oh, yes, good try on 26, 27 says. Internally. It's not internally, so I give Jonathan the three seconds. <laughs> well, the clock hasn't <laughs> no, um, no. Well, I, you have a go. Uh, no, sorry. No, it's not no sorry. <laughs> Let's see what it is. Certainly. Oh, certainly. Oh, that was quite exciting. That It's very brave of you to have a go, John, at the uh, almost very last minute. Anyway, certainly it was, and uh, we can certainly say that you, with 41 points, are the new Countdown champion. So well done, John. <laughs> well, that's very good, because you were, you were 13 points behind at... Uh, uh, after the first two rounds, so it's quite a comeback. So we slow uh, start. It was a slow start. Okay, but a strong finisher. Well, uh, yeah, I think you'll need to be able to do the conundrum tomorrow because it's a, it's a clever person coming tomorrow. Anyway, enough of you. <laughs> we'll see uh, you tomorrow, uh, Jonathan. Bad luck. Good two good wins and uh, sad defeat there. But I wish you all the very best. Thank you. Especially in your travels in uh, Czechoslovakia. Perhaps. We've got some countdown goodies to, for you to take with you. So wear your T-shirt with pride. Thanks very much indeed. And, of course, you've got the dictionaries as well, of course, as the uh, right. defeated champion. These are uh, two volumes of the short Oxford English Dictionary. So farewell to Jonathan Gresty. <laughs> OK, uh, Simon. Here's a rather nice little um, quote I found on the subject of truthfulness by someone called Spurgeon. He tells us that a lie goes half round the world while Truth is still putting her boots on. Yes. Does that tell us all we're gossips or what? Well, it's very, very, very deep is that. I like that. And uh, here's the lady that's going to come on tomorrow to try and get rid of John, Dorothy Farrahar. So that's Dorothy. And we look forward to seeing Dorothy and the rest of you at the same time on Countdown tomorrow. Till then, goodbye. <laughs>